Since yesterday, we are not human beings anymore. We are not the Hishidas anymore. We are number 23324. All night last night, we talked and laughed next to the fireplace. Then we fell asleep on the floor. When we wake up, a little fire is still burning in the fireplace we all love. How can we leave that room behind? I can't be sentimental. I can't. Five in the morning, a neighbor has come. Mrs. Goldstein brings cocoa and coffee. Mr. Lopez brings candles because our electricity is already turned off. They are crying. It seems whenever they want, they can raise their voices and they can cry. We tell them, it will be all right, don't worry. Eleven hours later, our train arrives at camp. My daughter says, Mama, if we go inside, we can't come out again until after the war is over. It is so obvious, but no one laughs. Our new neighbors introduce themselves. The wife takes us to see the latrines three blocks away. We go inside. My daughters scream. My legs feel weak. It is completely open. Not even curtains on the windows. It's no place for modesty. No place for civilized values and fine sensitivity. I feel sorry for my daughters. But then, an idea comes, and I say, when people return to the nakedness into which they were born, their true worth becomes evident. After that, I definitely felt more cheerful. I think from this bare life, we can carve something interesting. He may have loved his beautiful, his uncle Sam. He really brought him down because he couldn't jam. The cat didn't seem to understand. Because the next day the cat went out and drafted a band. And now the company jumps when he plays around with me. He's the boogie boogie bugle boy from Company B. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day, me say soldiers. This Valentine's coming to you hot off the press from the Santa Anita Assembly Center. And who are we, you ask? We call ourselves the Crusaders. But you could just call us friends. My name is Mary Nakahara, but in the coming months, you'll be getting letters from any of our girls. Forget, Forget it, boys, she's, she's engaged. engaged. <laughs> <laughs> to Bill Kochiyama of the 442nd Infantry Regiment, Go For Broke Battalion. Many of us have brothers and friends in the service. Some of us just want to let you know we're thinking of you. And all of us want to give you boys a lift where you need it most. In, In the, the mailbag! <laughs> we know your minds are whirling with thoughts of home, family, and friends. So we're sending this Valentine's to cheer you up wherever you are. This message, please note, descending each line conveys why you're always our top Valentine. V is for valor. You'll show in the fight. A is for ardor and flame ever bright. L is for loyal to your country of birth. E is for equal in manhood and worth. N is for novel, your ironclad will. T is for thorough, the mission you'll fill. I is for insight imbued with ideals. N is for Nisei, Americans real. E is for effort you give now with zeal. Our, Our sisterly thoughts we also now lend with love and affection as this is Valentine we send. Carry on, boys, we're rooting for you! February 19, 1944. Camp Shelton. Dear Crusaders, I was sure surprised to get a valentine from a group of girls I didn't know. This may sound kind of silly to you, and you might laugh, but I gotta say, I'll never forget it. 
I was born in Hawaii on August 12, 1921. God gave me black hair, brown eyes, and two cute dimples. I'm five foot six and 147 pounds, which I uh, gained since joining the army. I worked in a service station and was managing the whole works when the war broke out. I signed up to revenge Pearl Harbor, and now here I am in the heart of Mississippi. <laughs> After I joined up, my girlfriend told me it was no go. From then on, it's just my folks on my mind always. Let me tell you about myself. I play the piano, boogie woogie, and classical, but jive digs me solid. I am 20 years old. Single, of course. 5'11 with wavy hair, former pre-med student. Girls, take note. I'm easy to please. Easy to fool. Exceedingly shy. Hey, come on now. Isn't there one girl who'd like to know how my machinery ticks? We've got pinups, but we're sorely in need of fresh material if you can supply some. <laughs> I think I'd make a lifelong friend. And we're on the air with Yuri Kochiyama, octogenarian, civil rights activist, author, and Nobel Prize nominee who's been fighting injustice for over 50 years. Yuri, I understand you led a letter writing campaign in the U.S. concentration camps during World War II. Oh, you have done your homework. That was a long time ago. It was natural for all Americans to want to help with the war effort, even if you were in a concentration camp. My Sunday school students at Santa Anita all knew someone in the army, and so they came up with this idea. They went door to door collecting names and addresses from internees, even after they sent us to different camps. We still kept it going. Crusader headquarters was Jerome, Arkansas, wasn't it? Yes. That's where my family was sent. My name was Mary Nakahara then. <laughs> 